want to talk to somebody in charge. You are not fooling anybody when you say that what happened was a natural disaster. It was not an earthquake. It wasn't a typhoon. You're hiding something out there. Looks like Syria. Oh. Oh. The statue. It is gonna send us back to the Stone Age. This is like War of the Worlds. In 1954, we awakened something. 1954, it's like one of those good old movies, the monsters. Oh, it's a Godzilla. They were trying to kill it. Trying to kill what? Who? Oh, I gotta see this. You have no idea what's coming, Godzilla. <laughs> huh. Is that Walter White? You're gonna need to send another team. <laughs> the arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. What's coming? This my old buddy. <laughs> Let's not look very realistic. And not the other way around. Fireworks at a time like this? I mean, come on, guys. <gasps> oh, dear Lord. Thrilling. Oh, it ain't over. Looks like Godzilla. It is Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla. He's back, huh? Godzilla! I love Godzilla! He's back! So what movie was that for? Godzilla. Godzilla! Godzilla! I wonder why there's a new Godzilla movie. Did you know there was going to be a new Godzilla? I waited with bated breath and whispering humbleness that there would be. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. Yes, you can. Would you say it looks like a good movie? No. Looks like it's badly scripted, melodramatic. For my taste? No. I'd rather when Harry met Sally. Yeah. If Brian Cranston's in something, it kind of does make me interested. You think he could do anything. What would be interesting enough for him to do it? It's just total entertainment and keeps you on the edge of your seat. I'm in. I love Godzilla movies. Do you remember how old you were when you first saw a Godzilla movie? Oh man, probably 10. 10, 11, 12. I could have been on Kids React. Maybe a teenager. I was still in high school, flunking out, so I didn't really pay any attention to Godzilla. Do you like the old Godzilla films? Oh yes. Oh yeah, they were fun. Yes, oh I loved it because it's so tacky and cheap. Then they added on Perry Mason so, you know, so they could sell it to America because they didn't think Americans would go see a Japanese movie, which they probably wouldn't back then. I was never into that. They're not my genre. I prefer Boris Karloff or Bela Lugosi, or, you know, those are my stars. What does Godzilla sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that was a rabid Godzilla. If you found out a giant monster was coming out of the ocean, what would be your strategy? I'd get the hell out of there. Run! I yeah. totally surrender, Godzilla, here I am! Start driving east, because he can't get very far from the ocean. I think to dive into the ocean. But that's where the monster is. Well, I'd go the, below the monster. In the original Godzilla movies, do you know what the monster was supposed to represent? No. I don't. Bad sushi. He was the result of a nuclear accident. So the original producer of the Godzilla franchise stated that the theme of the film was the terror of the bomb. Mankind created the bomb, and now nature was taking its revenge on mankind. I think that's a great idea. Spot on, especially if it was like, you know, one of the ones that we dropped on those guys. Like, let's say it was Hiroshima. I didn't realize that that was it. I find it interesting and appropriate, really. So, sort of a metaphor for the bomb. We were worried about uh, atomic weapons at the time. Was there a consciousness of society about nuclear war as being something that may happen? Very much so. I mean, when I was a kid, there we were in the middle of the Cold War. Teachers would tell you, oh, the, the Russians have a great many more bombs than the U.S. It was scary. We just never knew when it was going to happen. People had uh, made uh, underground shelters for them connected to their home. The last Friday of every month, they would test the air raid sirens. They thought it was gonna help if we duck and cover, which means we get under the desk 
and we go like this and the radiation won't hurt us. We had a big earthquake in 1959 in uh, Montana. When I first came outside from the house shaking to pieces, <laughs> I kept asking my dad, where's the bombers? Where's the bombers? Because the idea of an earthquake hadn't crossed my mind. I thought it was a nuclear attack. Godzilla has had a lot of variations over the years. Did you know it once was a children's television cartoon show? No. No, I didn't know that. I probably would have watched it. That's almost as bad as the fairy tales we used to tell them. <laughs> you know, the Wicked Witch and all that. I have the intro of the old Godzilla cartoon to show you now. Okay. Up from the depths, 30 stories high, Godzilla! 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 And Godzuki! Oh, <laughs> oh. That's Godzilla? That's... Uh, no, that's Godzuki. Oh! Godzilla! It sounds like something from Broadway, Godzilla! What did you think of the cartoon? That's funny. As long as Godzilla is friendly and not, uh, you know, he doesn't scare the kids. Well, you see, they dumbed it down and uh, made it less frightening to the uh, immature mind. Godzuki. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Why do you think movie studios choose to make so many remakes? Because they can't come up with new ideas. I hate to say this, but the movie makers are younger. They don't read as much. They don't have any imagination or good writers. Because of money. It's cheap and easy, and they have muted brains. If the first one was very successful, let's do it again. I guess it's like money in the bank to them. Well, this made money before, it should make money again. It doesn't always work, though. So finally, will you see the new Godzilla movie? <laughs> Me? It's funny you should ask. No. Probably not. I think I will. No, I probably won't go see the movie. Definitely. It's a definite no. No. Yeah, I might do that. I might go see it in the IMAX thing because it's so big. Actually, yes, I am. <laughs> and the main reason is because Brian Cranston's in it. That brings us to the end of another episode of Elders React. New episodes of React come out every week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hope you had fun at Godzilla, because you will not see me there. Don't even look. Godzilla! Goodbye! <laughs>